Hello everyone from beautifully white Indiana. So I've been here for a couple days and it's uh, been great to be back. I think it's gonna be awesome for uh, my photography. You see, I love going to national parks. I love visiting iconic places and photographing them. But there is something, there is something about photographing places like this one where there is no one else around taking photos, making images. I know that sometimes it's hard to see other people, other photographers uh, traveling around the world and making images in stunning, breathtaking places. But I think that we should focus on the images that only us can make. Like for example, me here today. And actually some of my favorite images, some of my best images in my opinion, were made in places where I am pretty sure I was the only one photographing. I kind of missed that part when I was in Canyonlands or Arches National Park surrounded by other 100 photographers. You might think that the place where you live in might not be worth photographing, but that makes it even more unique. This is not a cliche or something that I say lightly. I do believe that no matter where you are, there is always an image to be made, an image to be created. And there is no place I'd rather be than here in the middle of nowhere in rural Indiana today because these conditions at this place are just unique to me right now and that is a pretty cool feeling and it inspires me a lot. Just embrace what's unique to you, the places that you have access to, the people you have access to and yeah if you get to travel and go to beautiful national parks do so but if you can't for any reason don't feel bad and focus on what you can do. For the longest time I took for granted those uh, places and people that I had access to. I was very dismissive of them. I need to go somewhere beautiful, I would tell myself. And that resulted in me waiting and waiting and waiting and not doing anything. When all I needed was right there in front of me all this time, I just needed to open my eyes and see. During my recent road trip across the country I made uh, some images in beautiful places that I really like, but they are not as original or as creative as I would have loved them to be. You see, when you are in a national park, photography sometimes can feel like you are on rails and you don't have much of a saying. It is not the same here when I'm walking around the neighborhood. The images are not obvious. I have to hunt for them. They are hard to see. But that's also the reason why they are so rewarding when we finally do find them. And I'm gonna say that they are usually better than the ones that we might be able to create in national parks or other exotic places. And I can show you many examples, and, and I will after I'm done talking, of images that I really like that were taken just within an hour of uh, my homes, my different homes over the years. 
The most recent example is an image that I made of a light that is just down the street. You see, we live uh, on a lake here uh, by water, and I love it because I love water. The thing with this uh, lake is that it's mostly private. The whole shore is full of private houses, private land, so there are not really any public uh, access places. Uh, so this is not a place where you could come for photography, mainly because you can't even see it, get a glimpse of the lake if you don't own property here. But I happen to have access to it. I've made a few images from here, from the backyard that no one else could have made but me. As I said, there is this uh, light just uh, down the road. It's in private property, it belongs to a resort, but there is no one there now in the winter, so I kind of just sneaked in there and uh, I go there every morning on my walk to just get a glimpse of the lake. And this time I brought my uh, camera gear, my tripod and everything because uh, it was snowing, the conditions were perfect, so I made a few long exposures there. And even though the images are not the greatest images ever, those are images that only I could have made there uh, that day at that place. Most of my photography is done that way, around where I live. You all know that I always carry a small camera with me, a compact camera, so I'm always in the lookout for new images. And this is something that I do every day, or I try to, of course, it doesn't happen every single day, but most days. I'm not waiting for the next trip, I'm not waiting to go to the next exotic place where I can make those images that we see uh, in magazines or on online. And don't get me wrong, do that as often as you can. Of course, I love traveling, I love seeing those uh, amazing and stunning places, but do not neglect your backyard. There are plenty of good images to be made there. I used to think that my backyard was not worth it, photographically speaking, and I neglected that for a long time, and I regret it so much, because once I tried, I opened my eyes and I could see what I, what I had been missing out. And now, as I promised, I'm going to show you some of my favorite images that were made in places just around my home, whatever that might be. I was lucky enough to have lived in many different places, so some of these images are going to be vastly different from the others, but they all have something in common, as they were made very close to what I was calling home at the time. Hope you enjoy them, hope you enjoy this little video. Please uh, leave a comment with your thoughts down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thank you so much and see you in the next one.